we are going to begin our exploration of organizational development by defining what organizational or OD is. Now, organizational development is both a professional field of social action and an area of scientific inquiry. There are various definitions of organizational development. For example, Burke's definition is a planned process of change in an organization's culture through the utilization of behavioral science, technology, research, and theory. French, on the other hand, refers to long-range effort to improve an organization's problem-solving capabilities and its ability to cope with changes in its external environment with the help of external or internal behavioral scientists. Beckard's definition of OD is an effort planned organization-wide and managed from the top to increase organizational effectiveness and health through planned interventions in the organization's processes using behavioral science knowledge. Beer's definition is a little bit more extensive, and it is a system-wide process of data collection, diagnosis, action planning, intervention, and evaluation, which is aimed at enhancing congruence between organizational structure, process, strategy, people, and culture. It's developing new and creative organizational solutions and developing the organization's self-renewing capacity. It occurs through collaboration of organizational members working with a change agent using behavioral science theory, research, and technology. Now, the definition used throughout the text is as um, a system-wide application and transfer of behavioral science knowledge to the planned development, improvement, and reinforcement of strategies, structures, and processes that lead to organizational effectiveness. Now, as you may have noticed, OD emphasizes system-wide behavior science and organizational effectiveness. It applies to organizations in the strategy, structure, and or processes of an entire system. It is based on the application and transfer of behavioral science, knowledge, and practice. It aims to improve organizational effectiveness by managing planned change, which involves both the creation and subsequent reinforcement of that change. Although organizational development has grown and matured by adding content issues, it's still known mostly for its attention to the process of change. Now, OD has five major sources of background, which your text refers to as stems. Each stems each stem also represents an important part of OD's past and informs its practice today. Let's just briefly talk about um, a few of these. First, we have our laboratory training, which began in 1946 with the work of Kurt Lewin. And we'll revisit Kurt Lewin later in the semester as well. It focused on the T group, a small unstructured group in which participants learn from their own interactions and e evolving group processes about issues including personal growth, interpersonal relationships, leadership, and group dynamics. The second movement that led to OD included the processes of action research and survey feedback. This movement used systematic collection of survey data which was then fed to the client organization. Feedback sessions were conducted in task groups. The normative belief stage was marked by two key programs, Likert's Participative Management Program, which characterized organizations as having one of four types of management systems, and Blake and Morton's Grid, which stated that an individual's managerial style can be described according to his or her concern for production or concern for people. Quality of life, or QWL, was first defined in terms of people's reaction to work, especially job satisfaction and mental health. A second definition defined QWL as an approach to job enrichment. And lastly, strategic chance involves improving the alignment among an organization's design, strategy, and environment.
Today, the field is increasingly influenced by globalization and information technology trends. I look forward to hearing your definition this week in the discussion board and throughout the semester.